Well, here we are, first day of camp. Rolled in yesterday about four o'clock. Got this camp kind of semi put together. We've been having some fun. Ivan's been working like a madman over here. He's getting this truck ready together. You're getting together to go get some firewood here. But uh, we have one hell of a camp here. I'll give you guys a tour. Man, we got a monster kitchen here. We got barbecue grill, we got Dutch oven, we've got four burner stoves, we've got half a dozen lanterns. This is really something, man. The food is just, we could open a restaurant here, but we're not going to. We got coolers, we got chairs, we've got cots, we've got showers. We've got just about everything you can possibly imagine. Here's a main cook station. And over here, Ivan's got, the, Ivan's got the produce all laid out. Somebody conveniently left some shelving units for us here. Yeah, man. Just a few ancillary things on our table here. Buckets, man, buckets of stuff. As you can see, it's the maid's day off. This camp is a work in progress. We're gonna be here for probably 26 days. Um, muzzle loader, elk season starts in about, I don't know, about two weeks. And um, I got a muzzle loader bull tag and a muzzle loader bear tag. We've got Adirondack chairs. We've got everything we need. We got cigars? Yeah, man. Man's got to have some vices. Well, I'll see if it'll start. Yeah, we're just wondering if you guys got any snow down there. Or rain. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. I'll go ahead and let you go. Huh? I'll go ahead and let you go. Yeah. All right, son. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Yeah, you guys said it got rain. I wonder how much. 
Not not a lot, just a little, she said. But it's cold, they said it was down there. He had to close all his windows. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, baby. We've been waiting to have this. Hell with what the governor says. Yeah, fuck the governor. We're out of fire. It's a matter of survival. Well, here we are at camp. We woke up to this site this morning. There's 12 inches of snow and it's still coming down. This is the infamous September 11th today. Yeah, man, we're trying to dig out. Luckily, our tarp in the tent did not collapse under this. How's that for living? We're trying to thaw out this chainsaw so that we can chop up some more wood and keep this fire going today, but we had a foot. Foot of snow. I'll bring you some more snowy images here as the day unfolds. But right now we're just in survival mode. There's a look at the van. That's the snow drift that came off of the tarp this morning. And that's my, uh, that box there with a foot of snow on it. That's my camera gear. As you can see, well, the van is inundated with snow. Take another angle. Welcome to the forest, baby. This is what we got. All right, man, we're digging out. We got, we got a huge pot of homemade chicken soup. We got homemade tortillas, plenty of beverages. We're gonna throw the coffee pot on right now. And uh, fucking yeah, woo! We're getting after it, man. We can't get these vehicles out of here anyway until the snow thaws. I mean, it's September 11th. How long can this shit stay on the ground, right? It's got to warm back up and this shit's got to all melt off. I don't know. The hunting season might be a blowout. I sure as hell I'm not going out in two days in this shit if it's like this, so... Morning everybody. Well, this is our camp. We've been here for about two weeks now. And as you can see, everything's copacetic. The neighbors, the neighbors sure are friendly. These are probably the fattest birds on the whole mountainside, what you see here. 
So, um, yeah, we've been having a great time. Camp is lined out. The food's been excellent. Um, been taking some really good hikes. Been seeing a bunch of elk. Let's see, I, I hiked about four miles yesterday. Saw a spike bull in velvet. Uh, he was still brown. He still had his summer coat on. And, uh, and then last week I hiked about four miles and I saw uh, a fork bull which is rare in and of itself, did not have a five-inch brow tine. Um, he was in velvet and was brown with a summer coat as well. Things vary so much around here. Um, last week, um, I was up on top of the mountain in a different watershed, saw, saw a humongous spike bull, biggest spike bull I ever saw, and he was blonde, blonde, blonde. He was twice as big as the cows, just fabulous. So we're just hanging out here, man, doing our thing, waiting for uh, our hunting season to start, um, which is coming up soon. We're coming off a full moon. It's been bright at night, and hopefully about a week from now, um, the nights, days will be shorter, the nights will be a little bit darker, and maybe, just maybe, these elk will start rutting. Um, in the meantime, uh, we've been having a gas doing what we do best and that is camping man this is an art form unto itself Well, here we are, back at camp. We've been here about we've been here about 25 days now, and as you can see, uh, the animals are all well acclimated to us. Um, we've had chipmunks, squirrels. We had a deer walk into our camp and mosey around right through the middle of our camp. A doe yesterday. We saw her about two weeks ago, and then she resurfaced yesterday. Um, we've been here for 25 days, man. This is it. We're drawing close to the end of the uh, muzzleloader season. Today is going to be my last hunt. I got a big one planned for this afternoon, and hopefully, and hopefully, well into tonight. Um, I'm going to prep some food for a big feast today. Just start wrapping it up. I think we're going to. I think we're going to pull out of here um, tomorrow. Um, do the dishes and get everything taken care of and and uh, start pulling out and be out of here by Sunday. It's been, a, it's been a glorious time. We've been through a lot o over the past 25 days here and um, just wonderful. Yesterday, I found a huge herd of elk that had been in there. I went up early in the morning in the dark and I found a huge herd of elk that had been in there uh, during the night rutting and whatnot. So it's like, they're not bugling. It's getting more and more difficult. The um, uh, the uh, woods are drying out. It's getting crunchier. Um, the bulls are all herded up. I mean, every day it, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to keep this shit going. Um, and it's been still hunting, you know. They bugled for two days. I was there in the woods on them when they were bugling. Moments away from a shot. Couldn't get it done, man. They The, the wind changed and they sensed me and they freaking took off and it's like that's the way these things go so 
I, I'm re, I'm resolved to still hunting now is what I've been doing and you know it wears on you this it's like uh, the ultimate isometric exercise tippy toeing and over twigs and leaves and deadfall the woods have been pretty much impenetrable um, it's a rough gig it's a really rough hunt and I'm gonna throw everything I have behind it this afternoon for my last day and um, you know call it done uh, I'm just happy when anytime when I'm hunting when I can get the wind at, at uh, my face and the sun at my back that's about all anyone can ask for in this business so 